Ryan Khalil here on the show. How you doing, brother? Fantastic, Rich. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, where did the whole uh, coming back to play football thing come from? I just love bagels and delis. <laughs> They just, I couldn't find a good one in Manhattan Beach. Yeah, I know. So. Yeah, it's, it's better in New York that way. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm-hmm. So it's really all about the bread is what you're saying, right? That's it. That, I mean, you've known me a long time. <laughs> you've known me a long time. No, I know. Uh, it's just it's tough to quit sometimes, man. It really is, isn't it? It is. It is. And it's, uh, listen, I, I mean, I'll be the first to tell you how lucky I've been to play as long as I have. And, and I've got to be on some incredible teams around some incredible players and coaches. Uh, I think for me, you know, the biggest thing was just coming off two tough injuries back to back. And I was coming up on my last year in Carolina and I thought, well, maybe that's, this is the, this is the sign. Maybe this is the writing on the wall. And uh, we'll we'll make this the last one, and and uh, we'll soak it all in. We'll we'll make sure that you know uh, we we really don't take anything for granted. And uh, the surprising thing that happened was is I felt great throughout the whole season, and I and I felt real healthy, and and I felt like my old self, and so I still kind of felt beholden to kind of call it a quits and sold the house and moved the family back to California, which was always the plan for us, and. Um, I just was having a hard time turning the page. And uh, so I started working out and training the only way I know how to, which is getting ready for football season. I thought maybe that would be therapeutic, and that just made it worse. Hmm. So anybody trying to turn the page, I recommend don't doing that. <laughs> just go ahead and do the Joe Thomas, Jordan Gross routine and just shrivel down as, as quickly as you can. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so, and then, so I just, I was feeling even better doing that and, uh, you know, running out on the strand, uh, shirt off, obviously, uh, yes. which wasn't turning too many heads, but, uh, but, but yeah, so I called my agent, Tom Conan, and I just said, Hey, I said, you know, I don't, I don't quite think I'm done yet. So I said, I'm going to keep training and working out and. Um, I said, just kind of keep your ears open, and, and if, if something uh, exciting sort of pops up, if the, if the right opportunity pops up, uh, let's let's talk about it. And so I guess the plan for me was I was just going to kind of stay in shape, and then if, if nothing came up uh, and the season went by, then, then that would be sort of the final stamp on it. And uh, fortunately for me, uh, uh, I got a call saying, hey, uh, there's some interest uh, – in a center for New York, and uh, and we start talking about it. And then you know, obviously, uh, who you're snapping it to has something to do with 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 all the excitement. But I want to get to that in a second, Ryan Khalil, and just delve a little bit more because again, you're a guy with a great head on your shoulders, and you're a thinker, and you and you and you ruminate, and you you try and put your finger on things before you make a maneuver. What exactly about the game was tough to quit? Do you think? Um. I just think, you know, you, you know, you, you play a long time. Most of us have been playing since we were kids. I started when I was eight years old and you just have this structure and every year it's, it you know, you're moving up to another level and um, you don't really think long term. I don't think, I mean, I just, I try at least for myself, I've tried to stay in the moment most of my career and, and uh, stay in the day and then stay in the week and then in the season um, and then you try to reboot and and reset, uh, re-energize during the off season to get ready for another one. Um, so you know, it just I think making it official, moving back to California, it just being so fine, you know, so definitive that that was it, that that was that was the end, was the first time I got to kind of be in a place where I got to reflect on that. And I think I just had these feelings of regret. Or I might have regret if I sort of didn't, if I didn't play all the way through whatever potentials, I, whatever potential I had left. You know, I just, it's such a small window. And once it's done, it's done forever. That door shut. So I think something about that is just being as lucky as I am and knowing that, you know, it's not, it's still not going to be that much longer. If I, if I still have some left, having that regret of leaving some on the table, I just, uh, uh, I just I had a hard time moving on from that, and then and then you know the things that everybody always talks about the locker room, um, you know Sundays, 
not training camp, which I timed it up perfectly. You so did, I think you? I got a couple days of hey, training man, camp. You're, here, you're so. a savvy veteran, Ryan. You are. A, <laughs> let's not forget, you are a savvy veteran at first and foremost. So, so I think most guys won't won't miss that. Um, uh, but but yeah, so I just think you know, for me, just knowing that that was gonna uh, that I wasn't gonna be able to do that ever again. I just um, I had a hard time moving on from all that stuff. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.